friends. So today I just want to talk about um, comparing yourself to others. I think that everyone does this, not just the chronically ill, but I think that the chronically ill um, do this a lot more than others just because we're constantly seeing everyone else doing the things that we want to or looking the way that we want to because they have control over their appearances and the things they can do and we don't and it's really hard to um, see that and not be able to do it ourselves especially if you're young and you know you want to you know wear the fashionable things that everyone else is wearing and you know do all these things that everyone else is doing um, with their appearance especially um, but you don't feel comfortable enough with yourself um, because maybe you're on prednisone or steroids or any drugs that cause weight gain and that can definitely put a damper on the way you're, on your self-esteem which then you just don't feel comfortable wearing anything that is you know cute and you just want to put on baggy clothes and just kind of call it a day and I think the biggest part of that the reason why we're so uncomfortable with ourselves is because we're comparing ourselves to people around us and we need to stop doing that because that's just not healthy and you're just not going to be happy that way. So yeah, I hope this can help you guys. Instead of comparing yourself to others, you should actually be comparing yourself to yourself. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it's actually a good way to see how much you've grown and how much um, you've gone through and how much um, better a person you are now than you were before and then you're not feeling bad about yourself you're actually admiring yourself and letting yourself feel good about yourself instead of feeling bad about yourself and that's a really big thing with feeling good about yourself in general so instead of looking down at yourself and saying oh I'm not as skinny as that girl or I'm not I don't have as beautiful skin as this girl, you know, I have acne from prednisone, I have moon face, I have scars, I have stretch marks, I have all these things that I can't control. Instead of thinking like that, you should be thinking about deeper things than just the outside appearance because those are things you can't control but that we have to learn to accept because you're still you. You're still beautiful, you're still inspiring and you're still a wonderful person no matter what happens to your outside appearance and a lot of times if you feel better about yourself on the inside you'll start to see yourself better on the outside no matter what circumstances have changed your appearance and things that you can't control those things will be a thing of the past because you'll feel so much better about yourself and it's gonna take a lot of work it's not gonna be an overnight thing I have to work on this I have really big self-confidence issues and self-image issue, issues that I've had my entire life basically and of course being chronically ill and being on drugs that change your appearance and you know deal with weight gain and stuff like that it makes it especially hard to feel good about yourself. Instead of thinking badly try writing down things that you have accomplished over the years. Things that you've accomplished maybe your goals or your achievements and things like that because that will make you feel good you'll you'll really see how truly how much you have grown I'm telling you and like for example with me I've lost a lot because of being sick I've lost pretty much everything you know all my hobbies you know school just a lot of things and just a lot of things mentally changed because of being sick and that's normal so if you feel that way too it's okay but I, you know, I, I started a blog and the Facebook page and doing videos and that's a big accomplishment. Even though I'm sick, I've still accomplished a lot. And I mean, it's a lot for me, maybe not for someone else who is healthy, but to me it's a big accomplishment and that should be something that I should be proud of, something that I should, you know, look up to myself about because that is really good and I think it's hard to feel good about yourself especially when you're sick and I really think that we all need help with this and I just I know I can't I can't change the way you think about yourself but I know that you're beautiful no matter what's going on in your life or no matter how you feel about yourself you are beautiful you're strong and being strong is so beautiful and you're a fighter you're a survivor you 
you've made it this far. That's something to be proud of just in itself. That's a huge accomplishment. You could have given up years ago or months ago or weeks ago or even yesterday, but you didn't. You kept pushing forward and that is so amazing and so incredible and you need to be happy about that. You need to go celebrate that. Celebrate you because you have it within you to get through anything that comes your way. Don't compare yourself to other people. Don't compare you know, your friends, they, they have a job, they're, they're in school, they're getting their, they're graduating, they're doing all these things, they're working out, and they're, you know, planning big trips and big things in their life, and you feel like everyone's just moving ahead of you, but you're moving ahead of you too. You're, you're better than you were yesterday. You're better than you were five minutes ago. You're, you're getting stronger every second. Hey, you just got stronger. Did you feel it? You can do it, and you need to be happy with yourself and be proud of yourself because you deserve it. You deserve to be happy about yourself even though you can't change certain things like your outside appearance. That's okay. That's that's nothing. The real beauty is inside of you and the real accomplishments are inside and you need to remember how much you have grown as a person and as a fighter and don't ever let those negative thoughts about yourself get you down because you have so many things to be happy and proud of. If you get anything out of this video, I hope it's that. Don't compare yourself to others. Try to get out of that. I know it's hard. It's Again, it's not going to be easy. It's going to take time. But I feel like if every day, if you can commit yourself to feeling better about yourself and building yourself up, then you, will, you won't be comparing yourself anymore because it's not healthy and especially being sick it's completely it's a completely different journey you're on compared to everyone else you there's there's absolutely no comparison because you're sick and others aren't or they're not as sick everyone is completely different and on different levels of their life and different stages and steps that other life and you can't compare that because everyone moves differently throughout life and even if you're going slowly you're making progress and that is fine you're going to get where you need to be and life's going to move as fast or slow as it's going to anyway. So you might as well just do the best you can with where you're at and try to be happy with where you're at and who you are at this moment right now. Maybe every day you just get up and at least write down one thing that you like about yourself or one thing that you've noticed that has changed that you really like. One thing that you've accomplished or achieved, even if it's just going to the doctor's office and and getting blood work done, you know, that's a big deal. Write that down. Keep a little log of all your accomplishments and, you know, even after a week, you'll see that even those little things, like even just showering by yourself or getting out of bed and taking your medicine, those are accomplishments and it doesn't matter how small it is to someone else, it's a big deal to us. No matter how silly you think it is, write it down. It's important and you'll see, again, throughout the week, you'll just have a huge list of things that that you've accomplished and that's something to be happy about. That's something that you can help build yourself on and you'll be just so much happier with yourself. And then you'll soon see that you won't you won't want to compare yourself to other people because you'll be happy with yourself after a while. So just do the best you can and know that I'm proud of you and that I'm here for you guys. And yeah, feel free to add me on Twitter and Instagram and my Facebook support page and look at my blog and subscribe if you'd like and all the links will be down below so that you can just click on the links and find me there. I'd love to be your friend so just I'm here for you and we'll get through this together. Don't stress about the little things. It's gonna be okay. Just keep moving one step at a time and know that right now, right here, that's where you're supposed to be and let's just try to be happy with it and just try to Take it one day at a time, one moment at a time, and just keep fighting and doing the best that we can because that's all we can do. So I love you guys, and I hope that you like this video, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Stay strong.